I first encountered Carol Swain through her published work, her remarkable book uh, that deals with the Voting Rights Act. And um, I cited the book in my uh, own work and subsequently got to learn about Carol and her remarkable life story, the story of a young African-American woman who has come up from the bottom and become um, a luminary in the academic world. Uh, Carol is one of the leading uh, scholars of civil rights and race relations in America. She's certainly one of the leading female African-American scholars in the country. Uh, I was honored and delighted to have her in the movie, Hillary's America, because not only does she have the scholarly uh, power, but she has an ability to communicate uh, in ordinary language uh, to people in the audience. And so she did a marvelous job in laying out the history of the Democratic Party, a history that's not known to people. Carol's played a price for her opinions. She embodies the Aristotelian virtue of courage, someone who's not only very smart, but also very brave in standing up for her convictions. Go Carol Swain. One of the things that I would like to share is some of the things that um, I learned about the party differences. And like most people, and not just African Americans, but a lot of people assume that the Democratic Party is the friend of minorities, they're the friend of working people, you know, that they are the social justice party. But in my studies, uh, I quickly learned that if there is a way to characterize the Democratic Party, it would be, it was the party of slavery, it was the party of Jim Crow racism, and it was the party of the Ku Klux Klan. Presidents, as well as many of the people that served in Congress, I mean, they have a long history of oppressing women, of oppressing minorities, and it's not the glorious history that's been presented, you know, to many Americans. And even in our textbooks, um, the Democratic Party is presented in a way that if they ever were what they claim to be, they're not that now, and was certainly not the way they were birthed. Thank you for watching Hometowns and Heroes in Golfing Country. And if you would, give us a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, we'd sure like to hear them. Thank you.